Hey y'all, what's going on? It is Amy again with Bargain Mama. And I started this video and then realized that one of my drinks had a hole in it. So I had to stop it. Um, I just want to apologize. Um, I am in a rush. I am kind of shaking and like I'm not crackheadish enough when I'm not in a hurry, but I just wanted to show you these couple of things real quick. Today is Friday. This will come out next week sometime. Excuse me, because I'm taking some days off to go on this little vacation with my best friend. Um, next week is going to be very busy with work. And so I don't know that I'll be able to get any videos um, videoed or anything, whatever, you know, recorded. And so I just wanted to make sure that I have plenty of content to get out there to you guys. So my friend and I, again, today is Friday, but this will come up next week. So by the time you see this, I will already be back. We are heading up to Lake Havasu, which is about six hours, I think, from my house. I've never been there. And we are going to a balloon festival. So a balloon festival, mimosas kind of go together, right? Like, I think so. So you all, I had to pick up some of these. I've had these before. Um, I absolutely love mimosas. If I've said it before, my wedding that we were going to have in April, but when the pandemic started, was totally based around mimosas. Orange juice has a lot of sugar, a lot of sugar. And I'm trying to just kind of cut down the sugar a little bit. So I thought, well, I'm not going to cut down the sugar in the champagne, right? You just can't. So this is Ultra Sunrise Monster Energy. I don't drink coffee, so I thought, well, this is like killing a thousand birds with one stone. I get my mimosa, I get energy, and I get less sugar. Yes, score for me. So this has 10 calories, and this will make like three mimosas, and that is plenty for me. So I got this. They were two, three for six dollars at Dollar General, so they were two dollars each. So I got those for my mimosas. And then, oh, let me grab this bag real quick. Oh, hello, hold on. So, they had a couple more Christmas things that a lot of people may not pick up. But again, I have like 13 home health patients that I shop for. And so I did pick up a couple more things that I saw there for my patients for their like goodie bags for next year. I didn't even know I got this. <laughs> Anyways, I guess I picked this up. So this was 25 cents and it was, it's a hydrated targeted face mask, lip and under eye spring sunrise with peaches. I definitely need an under eye thing. So I feel like that was someone telling me something because I did not know this was in there. So that was 25 cents. And then I did pick up two of these. They were the last ones they had. They're just the play pack um, grab and go. They were 25 cents each, obviously. Um, they come with the crayons, the stickers, and a coloring book. My patients will love them. You guys, sometimes I don't even use stuff like this for Christmas. Like sometimes we can just do them any time of the year and my patients are just grateful and love them. Mini sticker activity book, over a hundred stickers, 12 full color scenes. So these are just a bunch of stickers and then you just put them on here. I mean, the hand-eye coordination, fine motor coordination, it doesn't have to be Christmas. Me and my patients love to do anything that is fun. So also I did not get, you guys, they had Jolly Rancher scented um, stickers and Hershey's Kiss scented stickers for a dollar. And there was like 200 of them in there and they really smelled like Jolly Ranchers and Hershey's Kisses. I almost got them, but I thought, no, like I really need to declutter. I have to. So I say that as I grabbed more stuff, but I probably spend more money on my patients and stuff than I do on other things just because I like for us to do something new all the time. So anyways, keep going. Um, I am going out of town this weekend and I would like to keep my 16 year old alive. He did, you all, he just got his license. Okay, he got his license and he started his first day on his job in the same day. Like I was devastated. Like, can I not just get one and have time to recoup and then get the next? No, no, they were both in one day. So him and my son, or him and my husband will be staying here alone for the weekend. And usually if I go out of town, I take my youngest son with me. But now that he has a job, he's staying. So I'm picking him up snacks so that um, those two don't have to meet each other very much. I don't know how to explain it. Like, whew. Like, I just, like my husband, you stay out here. My son, you stay in there. And everything will be perfect. So these were like two for a dollar mini starburst. So I got these just little things to set on his bed for when he gets home. 
I did pick this up. It's Bridgeford. It was $4.25. Natural style smokehouse sausage sticks. Teriyaki recipe. It's five ounces and it was $4.25. Um, so it has 120 calories per serving, but there's six servings in here. So it's like 620 calories, something like that. Um, 720 something like that. But um, what the heck? Let's see. Our smoke house sausage are minimally processed and slowly dried. Um, I try not to think, what does it say? Do not require refrigeration. So I try not to think what's in a sausage stick because I don't want to know. You know, like people are like, well, when you eat that, what do you like eat, when you eat a chicken nugget, what do you think's in it? Probably the same thing you do, but I don't want to think about it. So this is a sausage stick. I don't know what goes into a sausage stick, but and I don't want to know because I would like to eat it. So we're just going to keep on going. So they had um, a coupon. If you spent $5 on BIC, you got $2 off. And these are normally $1.65 and they had them for a dollar. And I am addicted to coloring lately. So this is the BIC's World number one ball pen, assorted ink in bold. And um, so it has, what colors are in here? Why would you show me that? That would be too easy. Um, okay, so this one doesn't even have its lid on it. And it's not in here. There's two without a lid. Oh gosh. Anyways, there's red, blue, purple, black, turquoise, pink, green, blue, and blue. I don't know. Anyways, I should probably check that out. So normally $165. I got them for a dollar. And then go back in there. I got these Bic Intensity 5 Write and Create Boldly fine liners so I guess they're like markers and these come in green blue pink purple and black so it's like a five or six hour drive up there and those were normally five dollars I'm sorry but I paid three dollars for all of them because they um I had a coupon but um a couple things one you guys I feel like I'm rocking the coupon thing so ever since the beginning of the year um I don't make new year's resolutions just like I don't go on diets because once you fall off of a diet, you think you've failed. And so you're like, why get back on? So if you make a new year's resolution and then you don't follow it through, then you're like, well, I didn't follow it through. So why keep going? I believe that everybody makes mistakes and that we fall off sometimes. And so I just kind of changed my life a little bit. So we have no longer been eating out and I have been using coupons and you guys, I cannot tell you the difference in using coupons. Like, and I, I'm not even good at it yet and there's such a huge difference so i just wanted to point that out um and then also the reason so i won't be driving because for some odd reason people don't let me drive i only get a drive when i'm by myself because people say i'm not a very good driver i think i am but i don't really think i am but anyway so my friend will be driving and of course i'm not just going to sit in the passenger seat and sleep so i'll need something to do so i'm going to take i'll show you the fabric i bought i'm going to do a um a garland and I'm also going to do some coloring so that um, I can keep her awake and talk the whole trip. I'm sure she's excited. And then, so I got my son also. I just keep on going. I ignore them and act like I don't hear them. So I got my son also just some regular Doritos, nacho cheese, and flaming Hot Cool Ranch because they were two for a dollar. So I got those for his snacks. Okay, so that is the end of Dollar General. Let's move on to just this real quick. So my son's girlfriend got me these cups. So she goes to the university here in Tucson. So it's the University of Arizona. And um, she works at Starbucks. And she got me these color changing lids. So I have the ones from last year that the cups changed color. But you all, the lids change color now. So I think I'm going to put the color changing cups on the color changing lids. But you can see right there that they all change color. So I think that's so awesome. And there is, how many in here? Six cups and the lids change. I think that's so awesome. So she got me that, I had to show you because I love them. The rest is all from Dollar Tree. So let me move my mimosa stuff because that's very important. Um, anyways, so I got my, you stay right down there. I'll pick it up in a minute. So I picked up my son, um, like five or six of the red Powerades. 
and they are 20 fluid ounces. That is not a good deal. Our fries here always has better deals, but I was only stopping at a couple places and fries did not happen to be one of them. So I picked these up for a dollar each and I will leave those on his bed. Like I said, five or six. Then I picked him up some Hawaiian punch, fruit juicy red, 32 fluid ounces. I will also leave this on his bed. Um, the reason I say on his bed is I always like to leave my kids like a little present on their bed I have since they were little. Um, or like if they have a girlfriend that comes over a lot, I'll leave them a present on the bed. Just like when you come home and you've just had a bad day, even if you've had a good day, like to look and just see that somebody thought of you. I don't care if it's like a 25 cent piece of candy. To know that somebody thought of you can make or break your day. And so I like to just leave little things on my kid's bed. So this will be like a huge mound in the middle of his bed. He won't be home till after work tonight, but it doesn't matter. And it's only his second day of work. And unfortunately, he absolutely hated his first day. He said his back hurt um, and he's never worked. So he had a really rough day on his first day. So I'm going to leave him all these snacks on his bed with a little note that says, hope your day went better. Love you. Um, you know, he's my baby, my last one at home. And I'm having a hard time with it, guys. A hard time. So let's keep going. I have decided again in my 25 cents haul from Dollar General, I told you guys that I will be redoing my kitchen and I'm doing it like a farmhouse and my living room in a farmhouse. And this in like a black and a gray. And this is like a dark gray and a light gray. And it says, take time to enjoy life. And it's just a really thick piece of wood and it's going to go beautiful on top of my cupboards because I'm still trying to figure out what the heck I'm going to do on top of my cupboards. So I got that. There's another one of these somewhere that's a different color and I'm pretty sure I have these somewhere. But when I saw like the pinkish, I had to get another one for my um, like relaxation corner. I love this. I love it. I love pink. So I got that. Oh, here's the other one. Oh, this is purple. I thought it was, but I didn't want to say anything. This is the pink one. So pink and purple, I'll probably put these next to my bathtub. Again, I have a huge garden tub. If you saw my um, redoing my bathroom with me, sorry. Um, so again, we just moved in here in August, which we still have had plenty of time, but we don't have a doggy door in. So I have, and we bought a door stopper for the back door to let our dogs in and out for when we're home, we can just prop the door open, but it was too small. And so I used my shoe. <laughs> To put it under and I just saw it slowly closing and then um, I just wanted to make sure it didn't close a dog in there anyways these I'm going to put bath salts in or even bath um, bubble bath or something and put them next to my bathtub like how pretty is that I love it I love it and I have, when I get back from my vacation I'm gonna show you guys I saw this thing that showed like you make spooky bottles and you put like either um, like paper towels and you like mod podge them almost like you do um the yarn and stuff um and then you like wrap it around a balloon you do that to these and then you paint them and then they look like spooky bottles you like drip hot glue on them or candle wax and then paint over it it was amazing so i'm gonna do that when i get back i'm so excited about that and i don't care you guys some people are like excuse me like it's past halloween yeah well halloween's coming up again like <laughs> I don't care if it's in like 10 months or however long like it's coming up again okay like I don't go with the seasons if I see something I'm like oh maybe I'll do that one so anyways I found these and they're scratch stickers I was like what is a scratch sticker so there's 15 they had bigger stickers and I think there was like nine in the package so you write your word and image first and then you peel off the scratcher sticker and you cover the word. So we're gonna open this because this, I bought the one with less because I'm going to send some to all my kids, like um, redeem for $20, redeem for a lunch date with mom. Um, I'll put something for my husband. So I'm trying to see where is the sticker. It says you write on the sticker first. But where's the sticker? So you scratch this, but where do you put this over? Hold on. It says, write your word and image first. Peel off the scratcher sticker and cover the word. So, oh, oh, okay. So you write it on something else and then you take these off and you put it on what you write. I get it. So I will probably write it on this maybe and then cut it out 
So that's what you do. These are just the scratch off thing and you write on like a paper, a jar, whatever you want to write. Um, how cute would this be on like um, a present for somebody who's like, if they were getting married and so under it you wrote like mr and mrs smith and then like after they get married they scratch it and it says mr and mrs smith i don't know so anyways that's so cute so yeah you, these are the scratch offs and you put them on top of whatever you write um the word on and then it scratches off anyways i hope i explained that probably not but i think that's so cute my husband's birthday is coming up next week, and so I'm going to leave him little cards. I go to bed after him. He wakes up before me. He gets out of the bed before me. I wouldn't say that he wakes up before me, but he gets out of the bed before me. And then once he leaves, then I get up because he says I'm too peppy in the morning and that um, he needs time to, like, breathe. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah. And I'll, like, butt bump him. And um, he's just not a morning person. And so it's just better that we both get up at two separate times and don't try to get ready in the same bathroom. So I got him a card for his birthday that I will leave, like, on the mirror or something. And then I got a card from our dogs. Last year, my son and I, it was very hard. We dipped my paw, our dog's paws into um, ink and then, like, put them on here. And then they all signed it. And so we will do that again this year. And then I'll put this like in his lunch because I make his lunch the night before. So I'll put this in his lunch from the dogs and then put this at the sink. So his birthday is next next week. I got this, it says date nights. Um, I got this because my husband and I just don't go on a lot of dates. Like, first of all, with me not feeling good. And then when I was working so much, um, I'm a homebody, like I'm, doing everything I can to not cancel this weekend because I just don't like to leave my house. I'm not big on leaving my house. The door just keeps closing slowly and slowly. Um, so I got this and I'm going to put this one night after my husband goes to bed and I'm going to go get some gift cards and maybe like a movie gift card, a dinner gift card. And then I'm gonna put this like in front of his sink or something and put like the gift cards in here and put like date night and then have those there and put like a date on them. Like, you know, not February 14th, that is so whatever the word is no but so I'm gonna put this and it's gonna sit there and then like I said it'll have like a gift card to the movies and a gift card to like dinner and then that's how I'll tell him that we're going on a date night so I thought this was so cute it's definitely not like I said for Valentine's Day or anything like that it's just to let him know that we are going on a date night so I got that I picked these up and I believe these are going into giveaways but I thought they were so cute it says when life gives you lemons make lemonade that is absolutely beautiful. And I was trying to see if it shows you what's in it, but it has the notepad and then it says choose happiness. And then it has this and then it has the pen. I think that's so cute. I love it. So I picked this up for a giveaway. It's just a notepad. And then of course I had to pick up the bees for a giveaway. And I have a coffee giveaway that I will be announcing once I get back from my vacation. And so I'll be doing about five giveaways in two weeks starting next week so pay attention so anyways this is a b1 it doesn't tell you how many papers or anything in it but look at this it says oh honey i love puns like for my housewarming party i said get laid in our new house so i love this where it says oh honey you can make your little list for your husband or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or whatever like the honeydew list so I thought this was so cute. I love the hive on this, has the pen also. While we're talking about giveaways, you guys, let's talk about what I found today. Oh, don't fall. I found these and these are way, way bigger than what I thought they were gonna be. I mean, they are huge. Um, let me see. This is a normal thing, a Powerade, and it's bigger than that. Sometimes I see things that people post and I'm like, that looks, looked so much bigger in the video. This is bigger guys. This is huge. So they, I got two of these. So I'll be giving one of these away. Can we please talk about her little like pigtails and bows? Oh my gosh. She's so cute. She has like the sand in the bottom. So she sits very well. I love her sequins. The sequins aren't on the back, but I don't even care. She's so flipping cute. So I got two of those. And then ooh, stay up there. I got three of these. I saw the other one that had the white hat with the red hearts, but 
I decided that these are the ones I was gonna go with. So I'm going to keep one of each and then I will be doing the other ones in a giveaway. So I have one pink one and two of these ones to give away. I think they are just so cute. So, because of course I have to keep a guy and a girl. So anyways, guys, again, there will be about five giveaways in the next two weeks. So pay attention to that. This again is huge. Does it say how big it is? No, but it's huge, huge. So I was excited to find those. And I couldn't believe there were so many of them, you guys. I could not even believe it. This bag's about to fall. So let's see what's in it. So I've hauled these before, the Imperial Nuts Energy Blend. Guys, they did it to me. They have now knocked it to the 425. The other packages, it cracks me up. So they made this shiny and it wasn't shiny. Like they're trying to fool us. Like, ooh, it's a shiny packaging. No, you gypped us by 0 0.50 ounces. But anyways, my son loves these, my 16 year old. Honey roasted peanuts, honey roasted sesame sticks, almonds, walnuts, pecans, 2.25 ounces when they were 2.75 and they're 310 calories a pack. He eats these every single morning. Sometimes he eats breakfast, sometimes he doesn't, just depends if he's running behind or not. He is not a morning person either, but he loves them. So he takes them to school and snacks on them. I picked him up these for while I'm gone, the grandma's chocolate brownies. Amazing. I don't know, oh, they are in here. Guys, I found the peanut butter, I already ate a package. I love them, there's two in here. This one is coming with me on my trip because I want them. And these are, they're both two seven eighths ounces. So this will stay with my son on his bed of snacks and this will go with me. And then I got my husband just a Hershey's milk chocolate with almonds because he loves it. And I just like to pick up little things to let them know that I love them. So I got that. And they had Jello, and you guys, it's not just regular Jello, it's banana cream. If you have ever, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna show you guys how you can make an amazing, um, banana cream pie from just Dollar Tree and people won't know it. I'm telling you, like I can find the easiest, easiest things with like, and people don't know it. Like I made Oreo balls the other day, never made them before. And they had like three ingredients, easiest thing I've ever made. Everybody was like, oh my gosh, those were amazing. How'd you make them? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make some banana cream pie when I get back. So this is four and a half cups and it's the instant pudding and pie filling, but you don't even have to make a pie guys. Just make that and it's amazing. I know I'm talking fast. I'm trying to get this all done because I'm so late. My friend is going to be here and she's going to be like, are you ready? I'm like, mm -mm, no, sorry. Mm -mm, nope. So I picked up some of the vinyl paper, 12 inches by 48. You can see which one it is right there. I've picked it up before in the red and black buffalo check, white and black buffalo check. Still never used it. I thought this color was cute, but I really want to find like the, um, it's not Bayelage. What is it? I don't know. Like where it changes colors. I can't think right now because I'm panicking because I'm so late, but I picked this one up. Not my favorite, but I'll try it. But I really want to find the other one. Ombre, ombre. It's an ombre one. So let's see what I got here. You all. They had three different kinds of these. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the other two dice they had, but this one, oh yes. And I promise you all, we will be using this. And I'm actually gonna open it right now because I was while I was driving, I was like, what is all on there? So this is a dice and it's not just any dice. It, it, it's like roll the dice. Like that's the same, roll the dice. Like, so roll the dice to see what you will be doing. So this one is called the two do decide what chores to do today. There was three different ones. I can't remember the other two, but this one came home with me and we will be using it. It says clean the toilet, dust and vacuum, wash the dishes, take the day off, get the heck out of here, scrub the floor, clean your room. Um, there better not be two of those. Okay. Anyways. Um, so that's all of them, but I think I'm going to take the day off. I'm going to put do dog poop because that's what and nobody needs to be taking a day off. So, and literally every single day, if you think I'm kidding you, we will be doing this because then, yeah. Oh my gosh. My friend just texted. What's the code, which means she's here right now. And I'm not even ready. I'm not telling her. I, I gotta hurry. Anyways. So you all, I picked up the great taste, natural baking cocoa. There's four ounces contains about one cup. Are you kidding me? Baking cocoa, like you can make brownies with this. You can make so many things with this. Like that's amazing. I can't even believe it. Like, yeah, you all have to hurry. And she watches this, so it just dawned on me. She's gonna know that I was, yeah. Anyways, I picked up 
two of each, the blue and white buffalo check and the blue, and they are each, I don't know, I'm trying to hurry now, 18 by 21 inches to do my garland along the way on my trip. Um, but luckily that's it. That's all the stuff I have. Even if it wasn't, I would have to stop because I cannot believe she's here. I know I just had to decline your call. She'd be mad. I know she's fed. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a great day. Again, this will come up after, but be ready for the next two to three weeks. We will be doing at least five giveaways. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day. Bye.